Every generation redefines impossible. Three minutes, 59.4 seconds. Roger Bannister has scaled the Everest of athletic achievement and shattered James the James Hines mark. wins the gold in 9.9 seconds. 59.40, the unofficial the time. Elliot Kipchoge runs into the history books. Some records, though, can't be broken. All sports have impossible targets, and over the iron distance, breaking seven hours for the men or, or eight hours for the women is almost mythical. What it involves is swimming 3.8 kilometres, equivalent to the fastest swimmers in the world at the Olympic Games, are swimming this in the open water race, and, and then delivering a 180 kilometre bike ride at the same pace they're riding in the Tour de France, the best cyclists in the world. And then after all of that, delivering the fastest marathon ever done in an iron distance race. Do I think that's possible? Who knows? For the first time, four iconic endurance athletes will attempt to redefine the limits of performance. Spirig, Charles Barkley, Blumenfeld, Brownlee. Between them, four Olympic medals, three of them gold, multiple world titles, three Ironman World Championship podiums, and the half-distance world record. And who, more importantly than all that, represent the present and the future of what's possible I think it's 99% impossible and 1% possible, and uh, I'm going to make sure I do everything I can to, to do it in that 1%. Every huge challenge seems impossible at the first moment, but to have the chance to try it and to make the impossible possible. This is going to be a whole new push on what is possible. I've already been speaking to a lot of people who say it's impossible to go sub-7. I disagree. If everything falls in your favour, if every variable is controlled, if conditions are perfect, if the world's best single discipline athletes provide the pace and your sole rival is looking to steal your place in history, where then is the absolute limit of human physical potential? The sub seven and sub eight projects, the race to be the fastest there ever was and ever will be over the most brutal and most celebrated distance there is. The race to defy the impossible.